I'm walking off like I know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit to the top is all. I can't even see it. Good afternoon, Charlie here with Red Summit RF, taking you along on my Summits on the Air adventures. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button below and hit that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Right now, we're located just a little bit uh, northeast of the Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument Visitor Center. So far today, we've done two activations and this will be our third. We did a, a peak first, Baby Black. Then we did uh, Parks on the Air and did uh, Sunset Crater National Monument. And now for our third activation of the day, we're going to be uh, activating Peak 7711, or as my partner here, Chris, says, BB Gun Hill. Chris? <laughs> when I was five, my brother chased me down this hill with the BB Gun. So it was a lot of fun. Oh. <laughs> All right, so if you... Uh, uh, enjoy these videos. Please uh, catch the other two, the video of uh, Baby Black and the video of Sunset Crater. And so we're going to activate this hill. When I get on top, we will uh, <coughs> talk to you a little bit about how I set up my antenna and uh, how I deploy coming up. Well, made it to the top of the summit. Chris is over there. He's finding a place to set up. I wanted to go over real quick how I deploy my antenna. Sometimes I'll throw a rope up over a branch. I'm standing next to a tree that I had considered possibly doing that right here. Right now I usually bring a weight with me every time I go up to a summit. 
I uh, used to just use a rock, find it on the ground somewhere and tie it up and I just, it ended up being too much of a hassle. So now I bring one of these and it, I just tie a string to it and throw it up in a branch and that usually helps uh, if there's trees. If there's not, uh, then I, I do something else. This is what I do with my other mass. I, I uh, have a crappy fishing pole and I have these uh, ties that I got at Home Depot and I just lash it to this tree here. I uh, have lashed it to all kinds of things, brush and dead wood or whatever, but uh, that's kind of how I, how I deploy if I don't have a tree to, to throw a rope up over. What I do is I, I have a carabiner right here and I snap it into this keychain at the top of my fishing pole and then through my antenna uh, and that's about it for, for getting that set up partially and then I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll just take this strap and I'll undo it. And now that I have that, uh, I just kind of throw it out that way. I'll do the other one to this side and then my feed line as well. So I really have two methods. One is this antenna mast, which is a fishing pole. A couple of ties, twist ties that I lash the uh, pole to, to whatever. And the keychain loop in the top with the carabiner and then my antenna. And uh, then I just scoot it on up after I've deployed. And the other is putting it up in a tree somewhere just uh, tying a piece of string to that uh, weight I showed you a minute ago, tossing it over the branch and then looping it to the top of the antenna and pulling it up. So once I get them deployed, then I have these links here where I'll be able to just uh, use the different links to set my frequency to whatever band I want. And I have each frequency tuned to the soda calling frequency, so it's pretty easy. I don't ever use a tuner. In fact, I've never used a tuner since I've done soda. It's been, you know, six years and I've not had to use one ever. So uh, that's about it. Let me uh, get this antenna the rest of the way up and then I will start working some uh, 10 meters today. One last thing that I do, I forgot to mention too, is that I have these snaps here with a string already attached to them and they go on the end of my antenna. Let me see if I can grab one here. All right, so I have this snap on on, on the end of my antenna. I just have like a, uh, a zip tie and I just snap this antenna like that. And then I tie this cord down someplace and then when I if I need slack in the antenna to bring it down to change my uh, uh, my link dipole to a different frequency then I can just unsnap this the antenna goes down and then I just bring it back up and snap it again and we're right in right in business so I don't have to keep tying in and untying my uh, dipole so that is that that's uh, one more thing I forgot to mention so almost deployed here
You switching bands? I got four contacts on 20. Yeah. With 0.2 watts. Wow. Because over there I was going to call you, so I turned my power way down and forgot to turn it back up. All right, well, I'm going to... I got decent reports at 2.2 watts. I was going to go to 20 now, too. I can go to 30. I'll go ahead. Or I'll go to 30 or 40 instead. Which one? Go to 80. I don't have 80. Oh. <laughs> I'll go to 160. There you go. You stretch a wire all the way down the bottom. Yeah. We're packed up and we're ready to go, wouldn't you say? All the contacts are in the log, I'm ready. How, how many did you do, or how'd you do? Uh, I did it okay. I got four contacts on 0 0.2 watts on 20 meters. Nice. And uh, probably 10 or so on 40 meters. Yeah. So I can live with that. Yeah, good. I got one on 10 meters, which is more than I thought I was going to get. That's pretty good. Yeah. So I tried out my new antenna. There's a my feedback tone sounded weird and I'm not sure what it is whether it's the antenna or what my setup is but I'm gonna when I get home and listen to the recording I'll see if it's anything that I need to worry about but uh, yeah successful activation we both uh, worked quite a few contacts I would say 10 15 each and uh, we're ready to roll get down uh, just to re as review I use the uh, the uh, snaps on the end of my antenna so that I can uh, disassemble them easy and not have to tie and untie the ends all the time when I'm uh, needing slack in the antenna and I use a uh, keychain at the top of my antenna I use the uh, Home Depot twist ties to to lash my antenna to anything and then if uh, there's a tree available and I feel like it I, I uh, use the weight that I have in my bag to tie it to a rope and throw it up over the top and hoist it up and, and uh, th that's uh, how I deploy my antennas and it seems to be working for for me and uh, so again if you enjoyed these videos subscribe below and hit the bell and uh, please uh, check me out on Twitter nj7v underscore or Instagram red summit rf and till next time talk to you later great day